नमस्कार टुडे वी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ टॉपिक व्हिच इज वेरी कॉमनली मिस अंडरस्टूड एंड लेबल्ड आई एम अ पीसीओ आई एम अ पीसीओएस आई एम अ पीसीओडी नाउ व्हाट इज अ पीसीओएस इट इज अ पॉली पॉलीसिस्टिक ओवेरियन सिंड्रोम और अ डिजीज नाउ यू कैन नॉट लेबल दैट आई हैव दिस प्रॉब्लम दैट्स व्हाई आई एम लाइक दिस नाउ देयर आर सर्टेन क्राइटेरियाज टू बी फुलफिल्ड बिफोर यू लेबल योरसेल्फ एज पीसीओडी Now, out of the three criteria, you have to suffice to fulfill two criteria before we label you as PCO. The three criteria are excessive hair on the face, which could be on the upper lip or on the chin or on the other parts. Okay. Otherwise, there is a biochemical marker which shows that you have excessive testosterone or a DHEA levels, which we check by blood test. Second is by ultrasound when we see there is a picture of polycystic ovarian or a necklace of uh, follicles where it is seen an increased stroma level. So this ratio has to alter to label as PCO on scan. Then the third criteria is irregular periods. Your periods are more than 35 days and they come in less in quantity. Then it is PCO. So you have to suffice either of the two criteria to call it PCO. the differential if you don't have a pcu there could be a hormonal issues there could be an obesity i see it to leading to this so let's not call yourselves pcos unless proved otherwise